I just fell in love with the thing as soon as I seen it and I said, this is it. This is what I have to do. For most of us, we see a food truck, we think lunch. However, for Gary Henry, he sees the future. My dream is to own my own food truck. That's the first thing I told him when I uh, came to this place is I had plans to own my own food truck. So that's my goal in life. But for now, Gary's happy working as an apprentice in Songhees Seafood and Steam, situated in the parking lot at the Victoria Clipper on Belleville Street. Back in May, on a much sunnier day, we attended the grand opening of the Songhees Nation's first food truck. It means a lot to Songhees Nation. It means a lot to our people. It means a lot to our members that are working in the truck here behind us. For us to have the opportunity to participate in that sector in our traditional territory here, you know, and giving our members who are in the truck working hard an opportunity to work in this type of field. I had wanted for a long time to have something here in the parking lot that was something for our community and our passengers to enjoy, but I particularly in thinking about what I, I really wanted to see moving forward was some real connection with the Aboriginal people who were here. Not only is the food truck serving First Nations inspired cuisine like salmon and bison burgers, it's also a training school. We're going to run a cook's training program out of our wellness center and that'll bring young people finishing high school right into university, college, become full certified chefs. That's our dream. You know, this is something that excites me. Chef Dave Roger is overseeing Songhees Seafood and Steam, as well as the apprentice program. And I've been working with the Songhees Nation for about on, on and off for about a year now. And uh, so I just decided that I wanted to um, take this challenge, a new, a, a, new, a new adventure. What do you have in it and what do you think of it? I have a salmon burger, it's very delicious. What do you think of the food here? I had a seafood chowder and it was delicious and with bannock, it's even better. On a scale of 1 to 10, what would you give it? It's time for me to start learning the education part of it, the back of the house. So as an apprentice, Gary gets to work in an industry that he loves and work towards owning his own business. I would like a food truck because it's a low overhead, it's the staff. Uh, not as many staff in a food truck compared to working in a restaurant. He attributes his love of cooking for large groups to his mother. I was in the kitchen with her at a very young age and I enjoyed it. I just enjoyed it. I enjoyed the atmosphere. Uh, it was just a family thing. We've always had big families around. Gary also appreciates that the food truck is providing more opportunities for First Nations. I've been the only cook out for many restaurants. I was the only First Nation person in here. More and more students are starting to come in and they're learning how to work the kitchen, working in a food truck. And it's fun. It's fun working with family, friends. The closeness. It's just the closeness. I'll put it that way. How is Gary doing? Oh, he's doing great. Yeah, he's one of my key guys on the truck. Yeah. And, uh, and he's really enjoying it. He's coming up with all kinds of different specials. So in the not too distant future, when you get hungry, keep an eye out for Gary's dream come true. I had my calling, should I say. So I know now. I know what I'm going to be doing in my future. In Victoria, I'm Dan Kahn.